All right, welcome back to the channel, man. It is your boy, Red Mamba, back with another video. Hey, happy Easter to everyone, man. I'm a little hungover, but the grind does not stop on this MLB content. I'm back with another great sub method for you guys. Depending on your pack luck and all that type of stuff, you're getting about 200k subs, maybe a little bit less, maybe like 180, 190k. But if your pack luck is good, you can get the sky's the limit. You can get millions of stubs. Who knows, depending on how good your pack luck is. For me personally, I got about 200k stubs, which if you do the math, it's about 4k stubs per win with XP as well. So if you aren't completely done with your program, you also get XP and stubs from your program too. If you get a, a card you could resell or a card you could use in the program that you guys could resell. So on the low end, you guys are getting about 4k stubs per win, and it's only three inning games. It's pretty simple. Um, this is my team right now. I also got 60k stubs. Um, we've been upgrading my team. I got Jose Ramirez and Corey Seager with this method. I also got uh, some pitchers, too. We got Corbin Burns, Josh Hader, uh, Mariano Rivera, Emmanuel Clase. We've been going crazy with this method. We've been actually – actually, we got Corey Kluber as well. Our team's looking pretty good right now. Um, I think I want to get a one or two more relievers and then maybe one more pitcher, and we're going to be looking good. Um, let me know what I should do with my team. Uh, I know we need to upgrade my second and first base. I'm kind of saving the stubs. I don't know where I should go yet. But um, if you guys have any ideas of who we should get, let me know in the comments. I have no idea. I'm saving stubs right now. Um, I think I'm going to get a second base first just because Rafael Devers actually crushes the ball. He's getting me – per nine at-bats, he's getting me a dinger. So he, he doesn't hit for average. He doesn't hit for crazy average, but he's hitting home runs. So uh, I'm going to keep him for now. Let me know if you guys recommend anyone I should pick up at second base or first base or if I should get some pitcher. Let me let me know. I'm just curious what you guys think. Um, but let's go ahead and get into the method. Now, um, personally, if I were you guys, if you guys haven't already, make sure you guys complete the BR program. I think this is better. This is not what – this is not the method I'm talking about in today's video, but um, I have a whole video on a method on how to get this done quick. I think BR, you guys should complete this first. This is the best uh, program. Get to about 100 points, and then after that, it's up to you guys who want to keep playing. Uh, these packs are still good, but uh, it's a lot more difficult to get them. Um, but get to 100 BR points. This is definitely a really good method. I think this is the best method right now. Um, the cards are dropping in value by day, so... Every day you guys wait, and there's only one day left. And who knows, these cards might jump in value after uh, the BR program is gone. So I would definitely recommend if you guys haven't, at least at least get to like uh, 40 points, which is super easy. Get to like 40, 45 BR points so you guys can get some of those gold cards and those silver and bronze cards, which might jump in value once the BR program is gone. <laughs> Also, another method y'all can do is the uh, mini season pro uh, mini season program, the mini seasons method. Uh, all you guys have to do is stack up your team with all-star series players and hit 10 home runs. Uh, where's it at? Uh, right. Where's it at? Did I pass it? Right here. So all you guys have to do is hit 10 home runs. But you guys, on rookie mode, you guys can do that in two to three games. Even if you're bad, you guys can do that in three games. You guys get a prospect. Uh, you guys get two cards, two prospect cards that are worth two to four K each. And, you know, doing that over and over and over is good. <laughs> Um, you guys also get XP, and if you guys can get 20 hits, you guys get a pack and XP. So, um, yeah, this is definitely another good method for you guys. I have a whole video on a good method on this as well. If you guys want to go watch that, I'm not going to go too in-depth. This is giving you guys some options you guys could do. But in today's video, I want to talk to you guys about the event. Um, you guys want to do this quick because this event is going to be gone as of April 21st. So what is it? like? It's like April 18th right now, isn't it? It's April 17th, so you guys got, what, four or five days to do this? I'll do this quick. So essentially, all you guys have to do is bring in your – you guys can bring in your full BR team. Some some cards aren't able to play in the event, but most cards can. And all you guys got to do is get wins in your win stack. So uh, after two L's, your, your streak resets, but that's just for the streak rewards on the bottom right. So on top of that, you guys are getting even more stubs. If you guys could go on a streak of nine – to 12 wins then you're looking good it's easy uh extra stubs on the bottom right your streak rewards only reset after two l's so you guys can get you guys can go 12 and one and and get a diamond card but once you guys get two l's your streak rewards reset but the rewards for the entire program do not reset at all so you guys can go one and five a hundred times and then eventually get a hundred wins and there's a lot of good stuff in here um it is a little bit of a grind you guys do have to get a lot of wins that's the only thing that kind of sucks is if you're not the best player, it is a little bit more of a strenuous grind. Um, 
for me, I don't really play too much comp in the events. Like, maybe one out of three or four games is someone that's actually really, really good. But other than that, it's mostly dudes that are, like, just have fear of the face of the franchise cards or just a bunch of golds that's not too difficult to play against. Like I said, it's all on your pack luck. You guys can get crazy stubs. Who knows? My pack luck is horrible. Um, but you never know with these packs. You guys are getting one pack here, two packs here, a headliners pack, five show packs, Honus Wagner, which, uh, just bam, sell them right when you get them. That's what I did. Another headliners pack, Steven Ciszek, which is another solid card you guys can put on your, your, uh, bullpen or to sell them. I sold him for like 44k. He's going down in price. Um, just think. The thing with these cards, too, is you never know. Once the program's gone in four days, these cards might jump up in price because Stephen Ciszek is still a good-ass card. He's going to be a great card for a while, probably a month or two at least. Uh, he'll be usable. So his 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 value might jump up after the program's gone. So you guys could low-key get this card and then just hold him. But you guys just keep going. You guys are just getting more and more free subs, free packs. Some of these packs are worth a lot, like Corey Kluber. This is another card I got. I didn't even sell him, actually. I was going to sell Corey Kluber, but he's actually a pretty good pitcher. Um, could sell him for like 30, 40 K depending on the market, uh, kept him, uh, just more stubs right here for 40 wins, a 10 pack bundle. The big dog right here is a pretty good one. We got John Franco sold him for, Ooh, he's going by now of hold up 140 K. That's gotta be wrong. Hold up. We sold him for like 55 K last night. Hold up. There's no way. Did we just get finessed? That's gotta be a glitch, right? Let's see. Whoa, 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 whoa. He's going for 80K. We sold him for 55K last night. Hold up. Hold up. Damn, we got finesse. We sold this mother for 55K. See, this is exactly why you got to hold your cards. Exactly why. Last night, we sold this card for 55K. That's crazy. Damn. We got finesse. So, um, yeah, there you go. It has lost 20K. I didn't even realize. I wasn't even playing with my boy on my account. That's crazy. So, um, there you guys go right there. There's just a bunch of cards that there's just a bunch of cards in this pack in this whole program that if you guys get lucky um you guys can really get a lot of stubs um like i said i got about 200k stubs 190 200k stubs total um the only reason why i didn't get crazy amount of stubs is because i already completed my entire program um if you guys didn't complete your program you guys are gonna be getting crazy stubs because you guys also are getting a lot of xp um and you guys get to sell all these cards as well so yeah, let me know how this method is going for you guys. I enjoyed it. It's actually, it's actually pretty fun playing this event as well. It's not like, it's not like playing Road to the Show or something that's really boring to certain people, like playing against bots or CPU where you're just grinding. It's actually pretty fun to play this event. I actually had a lot of fun. Um, so yeah, let me know what cards you guys get. I see a lot of people going crazy in my comments talking about how they pull Trout in the show pack. And like, some of you guys are lucky. I've not, I think, I think my highest diamond I've pulled on my account was... Yasmani Grandal, which is like an 80, what, 86, 88 or something at most. Um, that's my highest diamond I pulled in, like, just a regular show pack. So, yeah, let me know in the comments what kind of look you guys get. Don't forget to drop a like. If you guys haven't already, make sure to subscribe. Turn on the notice. There's going to be endless content on MLB on how to get stubs, the best methods. Like I said, there's going to be a new BR program coming out soon. So, once that comes out, I'm definitely going to give you guys a method on how to get that done quick as fuck. That's going to be coming out in about two days. So, be prepared for that. And, uh, yeah. If you guys haven't, make sure you follow me on Twitch as well. I stream all the time on Twitch. If any of you guys want to come through, come say what's up. Watch me grind some, uh, probably, I'll probably be playing Ranked Seasons until the new event comes out, the new BR program comes out. But, um, yeah, as always, I appreciate you guys all chilling. Comment, uh, comment Stub Mamba in the comments. I know you guys made it to the very end. As always, I appreciate you guys. Everyone have a good Easter, a good weekend, and I'll catch you guys in the next video. Peace.